morning, people! Everybody's like, shut the f*** up, it's early. <laughs> Me and Gabe loading up, we're going to, how do you pronounce this, Marcellus? It's the McAllister House. Not to be confused with the McAllister House in Home Alone. We got interesting wedding today, only because it's been raining like no tomorrow. It's clear right now, but literally when the wedding starts, it's supposed to be pouring down rain, thunderstorms, craziness, and we're under a tent. I hope they at least per are planning ahead to notice that there is rain and they're gonna do the inside ceremony to start with. Haley and Steve today, it's gonna be an epic wedding. 150 people, uh, 80 people in their 30s. It's gonna be great. Warehouse updates, we got all the new cables in. I'm not sure if I've shown this, but we had uh, my buddy Aaron who did the Apex Prime with us. He made us all kinds of extension cords. We're gonna be using some of them today. We also got from Elite Core, we got more XLR cables to make a whole nother cable tote. And we're making our whole corporate audio totes. We gotta get another road case for corporate audio. The Bow Flighting USA stock is slim pickings, but we got a new order coming in July. So be on the lookout. Oh, and when I say Bow Flighting USA has a order coming in July, we have a huge order. We doubled it from last time. We had nine pallets that we got last time. We're getting 18 pallets this time of lights and we are fully switching 100% to everything being shipped out of this warehouse. Oh, I'm not sure when this video is launching, but this is all of the new Bow Lighting USA t-shirts now available on the website. And for Memorial Day, so I'm not sure if this is before or after, these are gonna be free if you order anything on the site during the Memorial Day sale. I still have for sale LD Systems ICO of 15s. I have the JBL SRX 15Ps for sale. I have the Rockville Collapsible Totems. These are actually the big ones, the ones that actually go up to like eight feet in the air. Um, they're in black and I got this awesome Tukey bag made for them because the Rockville bags are terrible. Um, we have some Chave white pin spots for sale. We have ADJ, or I think that's a laser. We have an ADJ event facade back there for sale. Um, I'll link it all down below. It's on the B stock page on Bow Lighting USA. We just put all the gear that we have for sale on Bow Lighting USA. We finally got our road case for the 85 inch TVs. This big monster, which is longer than Burfa, believe it or not. In other news, we got textured panels that we're gonna be doing for corporate events coming up. We're gonna like hang these and stuff it's, and put up lights on them. It's gonna be fun. We got a brand new hazer you've seen at the prom. We got all kinds of stuff. Shout out my boy Justin Reed. <laughs> We've been storing these vertically and I've been kind of curious if that will wrinkle the screen and my boy Justin Reed hit me up. He's like, yo, just, a, just an FYI. Don't put your AV stumples vertically. I learned from experience and I'm like, yeah, I was wondering about that. So shout out Justin Reed. Credit where credit is due. Justin Reed, thank you very much for confirming my suspicion and telling me to not do that. Also, shout out Cooper Brown. Cooper Brown has been super, actually go check out DJ Life Podcast. We did a second podcast with Cooper. He always spits the facts, always spits the knowledge. Cooper has been an invaluable asset for our corporate audio expansion. I literally call him up and he gives me all the deets, all the details, and has been helping me and the team move into corporate audio even faster. But anyways, uh, it's gig log time. So let's go ahead and head over. We're gonna get set up early today and then we'll be back later. What's up, we here. I was scared, Marcel was like, oh, you just loading from the street. And I was like, that ain't gonna work because uh, Burfa don't go on the street. But there is a sidewalk that goes right around to where we need. Beautiful. So again, we're under a tent tonight. We're at the McAllister house. Very beautiful house, very beautiful house. I believe Liz Grogan's photography's out of this spot too. So they got the chairs staged. It is very wet. Let's see here, how we wanna do this? We'll probably set up over here. It's also very unlevel. Stuff's fun when you got outdoor related events, but at least it's all tinted going in and out of the spot. Go check out the inside as well. I'm totally like abandoning Gabe though, which is nice. All right, a lot of you guys seem to value the, um, my setup logistics sort of thought process. I literally, every, every venue I show up to, I take like 10, 15 minutes with my assistant and we talk through what the game plan is. So that way we can easily set up very quickly and efficiently because we both know what we're doing. So here we're talking about, we have inside, I already went inside and looked. Um, that's where the rain plan for ceremony is. Right here is the non rain plan for ceremony, but literally at three o'clock, the whole sky is supposed to fall down and it's supposed to continue until like six o'clock. And that is exactly when the ceremony is. So because 
we're setting up right here. This is 100% where the dance floor is going to be. So we're going to set up Burfa right there, two speakers. We got some tubes. The tubes are waterproof and we got our audio rack. We're not going to do the full audio rack with the facade. We're just going to do it off to the side, you know, make it as compact as possible. All good to go. But this is where the ceremony is going to be if it doesn't rain. So. My plan is I'm just gonna use this system right here. We'll turn one of the speakers and run that for the ceremony if it is out here and I'm fully covered. We do have dinner inside, so we need a sound system in there. So we're gonna set up the full ready to go ceremony rig in there in case we do ceremony inside. So that's kind of the plan. We're gonna have basically audio system in there, which will be the basically the ceremony rig that we brought for the dinner music. And then we're gonna set up out here. So me and Gabe are gonna get everything loaded in though. All right guys, fully set up and ready to go as you saw from the time lapse. We got our two Maui 44s, LD Systems Maui 44 G2s. We have pixel tubes, they're kind of hard to see right now at night. We are gonna raise these two up, but like I said, it's supposed to pour down rain here at like three o'clock. All set up, Burfa, all ready to go. We're, I mean, we're good to go. We're running power all the way around to there. We got the bar set up out here. Let me take you inside and show you guys what we're doing inside as well. We are set up for the rain plan. So we're gonna be doing everything inside from the ceremony standpoint. And we're gonna do some cool stuff with the audio, but back here is kind of our hidden away audio. Just microphones today for the ceremony. We got two lapels, one handheld, three mics running for our ceremony for everything going on. In this room, we really don't even need mics to be honest, but we're gonna have them anyways. But after the ceremony, everybody's going under the tent for cocktail. They do have uh, instrumental people playing for the ceremony, playing for the cocktail. Then during dinner, they're gonna come back in here. They're gonna flip this to some tables and chairs, and we're just gonna be doing dinner in here. We'll knock out first dance and a few other things outside before we come inside for dinner. But I'm gonna do some cool stuff because we're gonna do some wireless audio. So I'm gonna be transmitting from here. I'm gonna plug in a microphone. Potentially, I'm gonna plug in my audio right here. We'll break all this down because we don't need that. We're gonna plug in my laptop, play some audio through here, and then that will wirelessly transmit. If you haven't seen before how we're doing wireless audio, we're using a lapel in reverse. So the lapel will be over there and then the receiver unit will be all the way over here. This room and that room over there are gonna be the two other rooms for dinner because we have so many people, they, got, they can't all fit in that area of the house. Um, so I have the brand new LDNE 10 here and um, you know we're not really using this to the fullest because it has mics built into it, but all we're gonna do is we have our Audio-Technica receiver up here and it's gonna run into here and we're just gonna basically transmit from all the way on that side of the house to here so that way the audio is seamless throughout and we can make announcements. I don't have a speaker in this room. My goal is that I can carry the audio from there, shooting it straight through for the few people that are in here. There's less people in here than there is in there. Everybody should get the hint. And this is another buffet is gonna be in here. That's the full kind of setup. I'll show you guys more later on, but uh, that kind of is the breakdown of everything for today's wedding. Haley and Steve, we're gonna rock it out. I'm gonna go eat some food. Um, chill, maybe get a shower because it is humid and hot out here and then come back and rock it out. We back, we back, we back. You wanted to go to the gym? Yeah. This dude was gonna go to the gym for two hours. Got a couple over there taking some photos. Everything's getting set. Looks nice, looks nice. Looks really nice, really nice. Just gotta get uh, everything turned on and ready to rock and roll. We waiting. Guests are starting to show up but we're not doing any prelude so it's all good. It's all good. We are a little concerned on power though. A little concerned. I really don't know what it is but I had I had 120 volts when we first plugged in, was still at 120, but they just hooked up an icy machine onto another outlet. But I dropped the 118 and when my subs started kicking in, I'm like on that 115 range, which is still fine, as long as we don't drop to like 110. 110 is the scary spot. So we'll see. Rick, what's going on? Um, well, it's pouring down rain. There's a river on the dance floor. Uh, I have nowhere to stand the DJ. The quartet couldn't go outside for cocktails, so I'm playing jazz music outside, and now we're trying we're to- in a little corner as they set up the dinner table. Yeah, we have nowhere to go. It's literally pouring down right now. <laughs> we're setting up wireless audio though in the other room. That's positive. We're here Saturday night. Who's ready to celebrate with Haley and Steve tonight? Come on, give it up one time. Two hands going. Without further ado, help me welcome the newly married couple, up here on the dance floor as they're going to go right into their first dance together, officially, as husband and wife. All right, a little 
update for you guys. It is currently still raining. Not raining as hard. My shoes completely uh, soaked and destroyed. Thankfully, these are actually $50 shoes on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're like a tennis shoe, dress shoe hybrid. Um, but yeah, dinner's going on right now inside. I have everything ready to go for open dancing, which is basically what is next after we do, we're gonna do fathers, we're gonna do the parent dances, and then we're gonna go right into open dancing right afterwards and party it up the rest of the night. And I got basically like two, two and a half hours of open dancing. I wanna give you guys some tips on what I've been doing a little bit differently lately. A couple different things I've been trying out. I talked about some of the music elements before. A lot of weddings now where I have either a set song that I'm ending on, whether it's like the bride, the the father-daughter dance wants to lead into open dancing, or if we want to bring everybody up for an anniversary dance. Also, I do the anniversary dance in reverse. Highly recommend you guys do that. Or in this case, we're doing the horror first, and then I lead right into something else. I've been going ahead based on what I got from the couple and the vibes I'm getting during dinner and cocktail from the music I selected. If you guys are not monitoring the music you're playing during cocktail and dinner, you're doing yourself an injustice. I highly recommend crafting your dinner playlist and your cocktail list to have some variety of different genres so you can kind of see what's getting the people moving. And then when I'm during dinner, I go through and I kind of pre plan my first 30 minute set. So it's a new thing I started doing. I used to just first two songs I picked and then I just went from there. No, now I'm doing actually a set, 30 minute set, normally starting around the 100 BPM range, going up to 128 and uh, having that set already pre-planned out. And based on that set, that's my best take as to where I'll take the night after that. So little new thing I'm doing. Kind of right here in the prepare window, I went ahead. Uh, I got the horror first, then I'm gonna jump into I Want You Back. We're gonna go to the Dancing Queen, Hip Hop Array, Staying Alive, and we're gonna work our way up with About Damn Time into the Conga, into September, Danzakuza, some Calibre, um, and I like to, you know, shake it up. We're gonna see how this works. So after doing it now for five of the first weddings at the beginning of the year so far, what I'm really liking is it allows me to like kind of really hit them hard out the gate. I can hit them fast and hard with a bunch of different songs, quick mixing in and out, uh, showing off some tricks, and basically showing to the crowd that I know what the hell I'm doing. It's been working good as to basically not having any requests all night long, which is the best. I will strongly tell you guys right now, if you are getting a lot of requests, it means you're not playing the right music. That's just the nature of the game. So if you're not getting requests, that means you're doing a good job. So one, can hit him out of the gate really hard, build the confidence in the crowd, and also builds my confidence up to go into different directions from there. So try it out at your next wedding. Pre-plan out your first 30 minute set uh, while you're at dinner, and then hit the ground running. I don't know, are you guys doing that? Let me know. Anyways, it's dinner. People are still grabbing drinks at the bar. That's a good sign. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. GoPro's ready to go. It's still raining. We're gonna see where we go with this. All right, guys, I just had a, like a 11, I just had a light bulb go off. So I have that lapel inside, right? That's broadcasting the music from my laptop to the speaker in that side room. And I was like, wait a minute, I can just turn one of my mics right here into another receiver. So this mic is tuned exactly to that lapel inside and I can play the exact same music out here. Like I said, that, that mic is all the way inside. It's a lapel and I'm able to pick it up here and inside on the other speaker. You guys gotta try this out. The, Using a lapel in reverse with high quality microphones, you can literally play music anywhere and everywhere. It's so good. It's so good. All right, party goers. If you guys are ready to party up, I need to make some noise here. Hey, this is Haley and Steve's wedding day. Somebody please make some noise for me. We want to celebrate. I need some big strong men here. We're
quick little announcement. Tomorrow, 9 to 11 at Tom and Susan's house is brunch. Come as you are. It's on the website if you guys need the directions and all that. 9 to 11 tomorrow, brunch. Be there.
Sparkler send off. Anyways, that's all for the gig, guys. I think it was pretty solid. Pretty solid. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this wedding. Give me your honest review. Honest review. Review. Review of, you know, how well did I do? What combinations did you like to see? What mixes did you like? It was an interesting crowd, you know. I tried. I always like to throw in some EDM, and it really wasn't that great. Um, of a response, so I had to kind of steer away from it. Hip hop, you know, hip hop can get tiring, so I had to keep switching it up, trying to keep it loose and fresh, and it, yeah, that was the gig. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're gonna break everything down, so if you didn't already, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. Oh, there they go in the, ooh, look at that. Old school car getaway. I didn't even get to say goodbye. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I forgot to show you guys, this is the dance floor. Oh my lord. And these are my shoes. <laughs>